Hey guys, as you know, this is CJ the Traveling Man, and as you see, Mike is with me on this another adventure. Yes, we're here in Indiana, Troy, Indiana. And I hope you guys remember Mike from when we were in Owensboro, Kentucky. Where were we at, Mike? We were at the Owensboro Bluegrass Museum. And I, man, that was awesome. I enjoyed oh, yeah. it. I we know had a Mike. Lot of fun. And, yeah, I know Mike enjoyed it oh, as yeah. well. But this time we got a new project for you guys. Yes, we're here at the Hoffman Mill Cover Bridge here in Indiana. Yes, Troy, Indiana. Or I was told also it's in the Anderson County Township, Perry County area. So we want to show you this historical bridge. I hope you guys enjoy it. The Hoffman Mill Cover Bridge is an historical cover bridge which spans the Anderson River in Anderson Township. It's also in the Perry County and Harrison County Township area of Indiana as well. And it was built, I would say it was built around 1864 and in between 1864 and 1865. And it's 148 feet long. Yes, very long trussle type wood, stone and steel. So we're gonna go check this out. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is CJ the Travel Man and Mike. Yes, Mike is over there looking at stuff. I don't know what Mike's doing. <laughs> but he's over there looking at stuff. <laughs> and also, you know, they have the they have the Hoffman Mill Bridge um, information sign right here as well, the plaque. So, you know, it tells you a little bit of what's going on as well. I'll post all that information at the bottom of the description. But let's go check out this bridge. You ready to go check yeah, it out, Mike? Yeah, let's, let's, let's check it Are out. Are you sure? Yes. All right, let's go. So here we go. Here we go, guys. And it's also listed on the National Registration Historical Place, and it's been there since 1998. So there's some graffiti that Mike kind of noticed before he, before I got here, because I was kind of working on the time lapse video, but he noticed there was some rough graffiti here. So what did you see? You just yeah, what? Well, the kids have messed it up a little bit, so. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I know you guys are probably used to it, but I just don't like, you know, seeing that ugly stuff written on it. There's nothing wrong with putting your name on it at all. There's nothing wrong. I'm at the bypass apart over here. I don't want you guys to see that. But yeah, I just definitely wanted you to see some of the stuff that's here in this bridge. I don't know how close I'm getting, but. It's even a little, what's that, a wasp nest? Uh, probably, yeah, mud daubers. Mud daubers. But I definitely, yeah, Mike noticed the outside, like how you can just actually go and look, you can look out the window. Look at the river, the Anderson River. Yep. Really beautiful. You just kind of have to use your imagination here and what it was like maybe 40, 50, 60 years ago. Oh no, I don't know about all that. It's not working. But yeah, you can see out the window, see the river. Some of the old wood. I just love how that goes out like that. I know it. <laughs> the view. Because I want you guys to see the other side of the view of what it would look like. Because we walk to the very end. So 148 feet. It said that on the historical part of it, talked about having a first meal here and a, a store and a school and all that too. It would be interesting to find out where all that's located. So. Yeah, see? Mike taught me something. But yeah, we just took that 140 40 foot walk. Yep. 
Yeah, and you can see there's some people that have written stuff, which is kind of, some of it's hard to read, but from 7 25 2016. Yep. You get it. He said that John talked to you earlier, said it wasn't used up to at least five years ago, and then they shut it down when they built the new bridge across the street. Yeah, and they built the, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys see that newer bridge, but yeah, this is one of those old historical bridges. You can even see the river down here. Oh, yeah. On this side. What did you say the name of that river was? The Anderson River. Yeah. Anderson River. Yeah, you see Mike out there. Mike's checking the river out. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's even... Oh, I was going to say there's a peanut butter jar. Oh, my what? Please, it says, please take one. I don't know what that is. If that's mason, jam, or paint. Unless it's something that's up under it. Oh, it's a track. Track? Yeah. Oh. It's a track. That was kind of scary for a moment. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, please take one. No. And there's an actual other bridge that they built that's right over on the other side of it. So you're getting this view of the older bridge. And as you got to see, everything has changed from 1864 and 1865 to, yeah, somewhere roughly around 1990. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Me and Mike enjoyed it. Like I said, yeah, there was some oddball graffiti on there, but like I said, it was beautiful being able to see oh, yeah. an old historical bridge. You know, I mean, if 1864 to 1865, that is just like, that's history. It's not like, you know, kind of looking at like our newer bridge, which is going to be over here, you know, the newer 90-ish bridge. It's just this type bridge, me and Mike even were discussing it. It's like, we would love to see something like this restored. Yeah, Never restored. have it tore down, yep. just restore it. You know I mean? If there's somebody out there that's interested in this bridge, I'm gonna put all the information in the description below because it's, you know, it's an amazing idea to actually have something like this oh, yeah. restored, being able to you know, go back into history and see it all over again and being able to watch some of the people say, hey, you know, I remember going over this bridge when I was like 12 years old or 14 years old, you know what I mean? Yeah. Being able to see something like that. And I definitely, definitely would love for somebody to be able to reach out. And then you see Mike kind of creeping around the corner over there. He's over, he's looking at the newer bridge. I, I don't want to see that newer bridge. I'm not interested in that. But yeah, we're, we're kind of like, if there's somebody out there really interested in restoring something like this or being able to see some of the information that's about, you know, a bridge that's beautiful like this, that's still, it's still history. And we do not want to lose any of our history at all we don't want to lose any history from anything you know being able to see a bridge like this again and being yeah, able to a bit, we leave it to where our grandkids could come see it yeah so if our grand yeah my god it like if our grandkids wanted to come and see something like oh, yeah. this or being able to come out and see a bridge that you just don't normally yep. see as much anymore i mean as you can still see is you know the hoffman mill bridge and I mean, this is saying July 1863, you know, it was built by W.T. Washer. It only cost him $5,700 to build this bridge. I know in today's term, that would probably be what, two or three million maybe? Well, maybe. But hey, it's actually worth it restoring it. And, oh yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
And like I said, me and Mike are thinking about doing like what we call the one and only, what are we gonna call this? The one and only cover bridge. So we're gonna yes. do like a cover bridge adventure. So I hope you guys- yep. are gonna come back and go see some more. Yeah, like Indiana is supposed to be what they call the cover bridge mm -hmm. capital. I was yep. kind of telling Mike about that. I was reading a little article about it, but- There's some up Nashville, uh, Indiana, that where the movie, uh, remember I was telling you where that Clint Eastwood movie was yeah. filmed. It's a British up Madison See, County. I didn't know that either. Yeah, so. there's some really beautiful ones up there. So maybe we'll take a day trip up there. Yeah. It'd probably be a couple of day trips. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah we can enjoy that. Like oh, I said, yeah. I hope you guys I mean, can really enjoy beautiful. it too. Yeah, I mean, I want you guys to see something like this as well. So, yeah. You got anything else you want to piece no, in there? Or not say, really. <laughs> say, say to the audience or anything? No. Well, like I said, reach out. Like I said, I'll, I'll mention Mike in there. I put all this information along with mine. Like I said, make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe, and share all of this information. So like I said, and we also mentioned like about restoring a lot of the, you know, the, you know, the cover bridges. Like we would love to see more of them recovered and rebuilt. You know, there may be a lot in Indiana that have been restored, but like I said, here's one that, that has it not. It probably could be in worse shape, but it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, the Hoffman Mill Bridge. So other than that, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoy everything. Just enjoy life and enjoy, enjoy everything. And, and I don't know, I'm just kind of throwing in stuff, but just enjoy life, guys. Get out and explore. Yep. And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. This is CJ the Traveling Man signing out with Mike. Y'all have a good one, and we hope to see you. We'll be getting out again here pretty soon, so come back and see us. <laughs> All righty. See you guys. Bye-bye.